There is no hell. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us, above us only sky. It's amazing how rational human beings can think that something doesn't exist simply because they don't believe in it. Try that on the freeway. You're standing on a freeway. There's an 18-wheeler truck heading for you at 70 miles an hour. And say to yourself, I don't believe in trucks. Our unbelief doesn't change reality. The Bible speaks many times of a place called hell, God's just desert on guilty sinners. Let me reason with you just for a moment about the existence of hell. Imagine there's a judge in Florida who sees the workings of the mafia, their murder, their rape, their drug dealing, but he turns a blind eye to the dealings of the mafia. Well, he's a corrupt judge. He should be brought to justice himself. And if the Bible is true when it says God sees all things, he sees the, the murders, the rapes, the torture of human beings, if he turns the other way, then God is corrupt by nature. But the Bible says he omni he's omniscient. In one 10-year period, in the United States alone, there were 63,000 unsolved murders. That means there are at least 63,000 murderers who got away scot-free. They raped a woman, cut her throat, carved her body up, stuck it down the drain, and they were never brought to justice. Well, if God doesn't bring that man to justice, then God is corrupt, as I said. But the Bible says God is extremely thorough in justice. He has set aside a day in which he'll judge the world in righteousness. This is what Jesus said about the justice of God. He said, whoever falls upon the stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever the stone shall fall, it shall grind him to powder. When you grind something to powder, you do a thorough job of it. There's nothing left. And God's justice will be so thorough, Jesus said it will judge right down to the thoughts and intents of a man's heart. He said, if you as much as lust, you commit adultery. If you hate someone, you're a murderer. He said, if you get angry without cause, you're in danger of judgment. So to say there is no hell is to forsake all reason. It's the greatest gamble you can ever take to say there is no hell.